Hey fellow gliders, welcome back. Today we're gonna to take a quick look at how to do best practices with calling the Glide API through Make. So if you have a pro or higher account, you are able to leverage the Glide API, which means you can right click on any single one of your tables, whether it be a Glide table, Google Sheets, Airtable, whatever, and you can show API. And here you see that you have a few different options where you can add rows, set columns, which means like edit a value, delete a row. And if you have business or higher, you can actually query all of the rows as well. And this will allow you to write values directly to the table from some sort of third party uh, in under two seconds. So it's really quick. It allows for a better user experience. Now I've already created a video on all the ins and outs of the Glide API. I'll make sure I link it in the description below. In that video, I kind of quickly go through how to set values and so forth using Make. And what we've found since then is that sometimes your make scenarios will fail if you're passing values from that third party platform into Glide that have any sort of HTML or code characters, Unicode characters, things like that. For example, here you can see that I have a, a scenario where I'm grabbing some values from my Calendly and I'm sending it back to Glide through an HTTP request. However, this scenario, even though it ran completely, failed. We can see that we have an error 400 here. And if we inspect the data, we'll see that there was an unexpected token in the JSON, which means it found some sort of character that it just couldn't resolve. Uh, and it thus errored when we tried sending it back to Glide. So what we need to do is we need to format the data coming in to true JSON and account for all of the different possible characters that could be in there before passing it on to Glide. Now, luckily in Make, there is a tool that we can use and it's called Create JSON. It's a module you can search for. So if you add a new module, search for JSON, uh, you'll see one that looks like this. And there's a module here called Create JSON. So I'm gonna add it to my module or add it to my scenario right before my HTTP module here. And here it's gonna ask us to choose the data structure. I'm gonna add a new data structure and I'm gonna call this glide add, all right? And then from here, we can specify what the JSON should look like. So I'm gonna click on generate and here it's waiting for some sample data. Well, the data is going to be how we're gonna format it coming in and glide gives us that. So if we come back here to our API example, and we, again, we get the API and get do the add row here. I'm gonna copy the add row, come back over here to our make scenario and paste the sample data. Now in this bit, we don't need all of the information in this JSON. We can pass most of the values in that HTTP request column, but the data that we're sending, the body of that JSON is gonna be just that last bit of this JSON here. So I'm gonna delete that very last quote scroll up a bit until I see data raw right over here. Okay. And so this data raw, so we see that other single quote than a curly bracket, we're going to delete everything before that curly bracket like so, and then hit generate. All right. And then basically it it transformed our JSON structure into a parsed version of that, that we can then specify within this um, data structure. All right, hit save. All right, and now it's asking for some different values here. So first it's asking for our app ID. Okay, we can grab that um, again from our add row here. Uh, so we can either grab it here, right, and copy it and paste it into like some sort of notebook. I'm gonna just click on my notes section over here. You're not gonna see it, it's off screen here. Um, but the app ID is within that JSON. I'm gonna come over here and paste. Okay, add items. Okay, for kind, this is gonna be add row to table because we're doing an add row. The table name they also give us, copy and paste. Okay, then instead of um, writing in the values directly into this request content like we've done here, we're gonna write those values into our JSON module here and then hit okay. All right, so now we have a create JSON module that is going to uh, take a look at all the values that we're feeding it 
and then format them appropriately before sending them on to the request. So that means in our make request module, we can trash everything that's here, right? And instead just give it the JSON string that was from the create JSON module. Hit okay, hit save, and let's go ahead and run this module again. All right, back in my Calendly, as you can see here, I'm filling out a, a new form. I have some strange characters in these responses. These were the things that broke it the first time around. I'm gonna click on schedule event. All right, back in our Glide app, we can see that it ran successfully. We have a new row here with those strange characters as part of the uh, response. And so, as you can see, just by leveraging that create JSON and defining the structure of the JSON here, letting make do its thing to format the JSON correctly, um, you'll find that you'll have less errors when you go to make that request back to Glide. All right, if you have any questions at all, feel free to leave me a comment below. You can also reach out to me at Twitter at rpetito. And as always, thanks for watching.